Hello and welcome back to YouTube Tutorials with Michelle Marie Studio. Today I'm going to be showing you how to work with canvas views inside of Show It. So I'll pop on over here so you can talk, see what I'm talking about. But in this section on my website right here, I have the images on auto rotation so that when someone's looking on this site, they can get you know a few different options of like what the training is about and they can see the different screenshots. So I'm just going to show you what I did to get these images rotating. So I'm going to head back over here on this page. I'll quickly show you that I have three views going on here, but I will show you how I got that set up. So the first thing that you're going to do is click the three dots and click add blank canvas. Going to move it up to where you want it to go. I'll just move it above this one for right now. I'll make this canvas view a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to start adding the images that I want in here initially. So let's just, I'm just gonna pick some random ones here and then size them exactly how you want them to look in all three views. So I'm actually gonna copy and paste this so that I don't have to resize all of these. I'm going to evenly distribute them and then I'm going to center them like so. And then, you know, you can add whatever else you want here. Um, I will add the text here because I'm showing you that the text can stay static while the images move. Okay, so I'm again gonna copy and paste these and move them over. And then I will just change these numbers in here so that you can see that they're not going to change when the photos change. I'm gonna edit the other two photos in a second and switch them out. So I'm gonna do this photo and this photo. Okay, so this is going to be um, view number one. So I'm going to go over to where the canvas is and click add canvas view. And I'm going to drag just the images into this canvas view. So they are all down here. I just pressed um, the shift button to grab all of them at the same time. And then I'm going to drag and drop them into view number one. And then I'm going to duplicate view number one, you know, rename it, whatever you want to do. I just, I just keep these simple as view one, view two, view three, etc. And then I'm going to switch out these graphics. So I'm going to click in here, switch them out with whatever I want. And then I'm going to duplicate this again. I'll rename this one to view three and switch these graphics out again. Perfect, okay, and so those look good to go. So now I'm gonna click in this view and, oops. Um, actually gonna click on the new canvas button and then click view transitions on the right hand side and click auto advance view. And then you can choose the time that you want to advance it. So let's say you wanted it to be super quick. You might want to do one and a half seconds. And then you can choose if you want to fade it, bounce it, rotate it, zoom it, whatever. I just like to keep it simple um, so that there's no weird transitions in there. But again, you can play through those selections and see what works best. So. We're gonna auto advance it one and a half seconds and this is gonna to apply to all of the, the views that you'll see here. And then let's preview this and see how it works. And there you go, they're rotating for you automatically. And that is it, super, super simple. Um, just a friendly reminder to make sure that you are always editing the mobile version because as you will see, when I go here, it is not perfected. So you're gonna have to want 
or you're going to want to have to move all the images around to where you want them in the mobile view as well. My suggestion is to do view one in both mobile and desktop first before copying and pasting view two and view three. But that's it. That's super simple. That's how you switch out images. Uh, you could do the same with the text as well if you wanted those to trade out. Um, but that's how you work with Canvas Views in Show It. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you're interested in more Show It and or branding videos. And we'll be back again next time.